I think a good teaching professional has an innate sense of people and their personalities and their styles. And a good teaching professional is able to adapt to different personalities and different styles. What I'm really trying to do with my student is understand what they're thinking of, what they're trying to do in the golf swing, and I'm trying to impact that. So I'm making sure they're thinking thoughts that are going to be constructive in their development. I think the key in the developmental process initially is to understand where the student's coming from. Is that student trying to play competitive golf? Is that student trying to pick up the game and learn for the first time? What is that student's idea? What made them sign up for the lesson today? Once I understand that and I understand a little bit of what their roadmap is on where they want to go, I'm going to design a program to fit them individually. My teaching method is very individualized. The first thing I'm trying to do with higher handicap players is make them aware of what they are currently doing. I'm not necessarily trying to change their golf swing or change anything that they're doing. I just want to make them aware first of what they actually are doing. And then we take it from there. Uh, there's a lot of information in these uh, technologies that are out there today. And frankly, I think it's too much for the average golfer. And they're very confused about what to do and how to go about doing it. And my job is to simplify that and only give them the technology that's going to apply to them that they can understand and really use to help them shoot lower scores. Teaching is different from high handicappers to tour players in the sense that high handicappers have a very low awareness of what is happening. So I often ask players, you know, where did the ball hit the face? One, two, or three, meaning inside the middle of the face or on the toe. And higher handicap players initially have no idea sometimes where the ball's hitting the face. So with a tour player, an accomplished player, they know exactly where the ball's hitting on the face. And the tour player has a, a very high level of awareness of where the club is, where the body is, and they can tell you a lot more. With a higher handicap player, you're really trying to educate them and make them more aware of what's actually happening.